Yo, welcome guys to Kinspire Tech. So today I'll be teaching you guys one of the very skills I learned in actually the specialization getting started with Google Workspace comprises of a lot of topics, which is what I'm going to show you guys. We have the Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slide, Google Meet. Google chat and Google sheet advanced topics. So I'll be going over all these courses one after the other. But what I'll be doing is actually taking each activity which was what I learned like for instance the activity we are going to take today which is email to explain it and also use this activity to explain to you on how to compose an email message. I also drop a link below this video where you can access this whole file from the Google Drive or upload it where yeah, you guys can have access to it, just click on the link because for you to try it out yourself and see how it goes. For now, let's go straight away. So I'll be taking this activity on how to compose a email message. Right away, they said before we start, we should actually click on this link to assess the leadership meeting. So I'll click on the link. Bye. Here. This is the meeting agenda. Now, if you watch, I click on it, it open the same page, but I don't want to lose that other page. So, what I'll do is I'll go back to the PDF file, and instead of clicking on it, right, to lose on this page, I'll just right click to load in a new tab. So, it opens the link in a new tab. Is what I'll say, I can be able to go back and forth between it. So, this is the link. We are asked to actually click on it and open the link from the course drive. So I'll click on it. This is the link of this course drive. So I'll download it because we are asked to actually send it as an attachment. So you need to download it first on your PC or your mobile device. Also, just a quick one, I'll also be doing this activity on Android device for those that are using smart devices, smartphones. So it's always all the same. Out. This is actually on the PC. I also do a video separately on how to do that on your Android device. Same drill, same process. So I just right click, file, click on download. It's actually a Word document, so I'll download this as Word document. So you can have access to download it as other format. I'll explain this when I start talking about Google Docs. So I'll just download it. Save it on my desktop. Create a folder. Continue inside the folder. I'll just save it. Oh, yeah, it's downloaded. So I can now close this. Now in my PC, then I'll go through, I've closed the tab, then we'll now open Gmail. I'll be accessing Gmail, I'll just type gmail.com. So this is my business Gmail account right here. That's what you are going to be using for this Gmail course. I'll just delete this. All right. So we're asked to, to open a message window, then in the two feet, add a colleague or friends email address so i'll just come here this is actually the gmail section over here you have the sidebar the sidebar comprises of the gmail logo to go back to gmail sometimes you have your inbox import uh, section you have access to your inbox you have your start you have your snooze email you have your sent your draft then if you click on this drop down arrow you have access to folder you can create this is actually important folder this chart gmail it comprises of there are actually um, different features into this gmail you have your schedule your bin your spam folder all email categories there's actually social updates you can also create more categories we will explain that later there's the most so I was just trying to give an overview of how it looks like, Gmail looks like. And actually, here is actually your support in case you have any question to ask the Google team, Gmail team, support team, you can actually do that. And here is your Gmail access to Gmail settings. If you want to get access to your settings and um, 
on your Gmail, then here is actually your dashboard where you can switch to any other features Gmail have, which we'll be looking at most, if not all of them, these features here. So down here is actually your account where you can have access to switch account, whichever account you want to switch to. And here is the sidebar where you can have access to your to calendar, your own key tax, your, your own key notes where you just have to tie some of your notes. And to do this, then you also have tax where yeah, is your do to do this, then your Google contacts is also there. So we are just going to to the item of the page just to compose a message. So I'll just click on compose. And this window opens. This message window opens over here. Now we are asked this is the two section. This is actually subject section. You have your CC and BCC. I will explain this to shortly. So over the two section, I'll be sending this to my initial Gmail account. So it's over here, I'll just click on it. Select, so it has added. I'll also be adding the copy and BCC. So copy is actually you want someone else to see that file that oh this is what you sent to someone just like you send a letter to head of department and you copy other departments so that you know all the information that you're giving to the head of department then pcc is blind copy so blind copy means if you send a letter to the head of department you blind copy the CEO of the company. So what it means is that the head of department that you send a letter to or you send a note to doesn't know that the CEO also saw the message that was sent. So the CEO can actually look at the message for the name of the CEO will not appear, the email of the CEO will not appear in the copy session. Or the copy session allows the email of whoever that saw the message or that saw the email it names an email of that person appears, but blind copy the recipient doesn't have access to uh, view who and who saw the message. So, this is the, actually the difference between each other. So, I'll be adding my two other email in blind copy and copy so I have to explain that better. So, over here, I'll click on copy, I'll copy my one at a time. Yahoo accounts. I'll select that so I blind copy I copy my Yahoo account and I also blind copy my Google account. Sorry, I'm not done. Blind copy. I'll now blind copy my Outlook account. So I don't blind copy my Outlook account right here. So now the subjects. Our activity, we are actually the the subjects for the message is meeting agenda, which we're going to type on the subject and write a message to format the text in the email body. So I'll go back to email the subject with meeting. Mostly I like typing the subject all caps, all caps. I like doing that, but you can choose to do whichever way you want. So I'll type meeting. Sorry. Agenda. Then on the copy below. I'll be typing the body of my message. I'll be typing. Yeah, oh, sorry. Kindly find the attached file or the complete document or our previous. Now just a quick one. If you see me, I'm typing, I'm having auto 
suggestion. So Gmail has this feature incorporated in the Gmail where it gives you auto suggestion like suggesting what you are typing next and helps you to save time. So instead of me just clicking meeting, I'll just press tab and, and select that word agenda. So that is how it also it has that feature over there. Agenda. All right. Now, if you watch over here, I'm having some selection. This is actually uh, an extension I have on my system that helps me to correct uh, the book word. You can actually have access to it. It's not actually paid, or well, it's just cool, but I have it on my site to help me move my sentences over here. So I'll just use that to correct or fix this. My email uh, I'm sending, I'll just click on this. Okay. This is a find attached. Okay, help me to write it. You saw what you did here. I just click the end and then you will see best regards. Tab. Okay. All right. So we are done. Now, here is the part we have to add our extension. So it has actually helped me to fix it. Can you find the document containing our previous meeting agenda? So over here, I'll be adding our TBC, which actually add the start the attachment of our meeting agenda. So there are two ways we can do this. So now you can actually add the attachment. Show you how to add the attachment and also add a link to the Google Drive file. So this is first on how to add, add the attachment. You come over here, you see attach files, you click on it. It comes here. This is actually on my desktop. I'll click select my desktop. It's selected. I'll go to meetings, folder I created. This is the meeting agenda. I click on it and click open. So if you watch over here, it's actually uploading the meeting agenda. So these are actually I attach the meeting agenda over here. It's done uploading over here. You can see it's done uploading. You can actually add files using Google Drive. So if I click on this insert files using Google Drive. Over here, I'll just click OK. So, over here, there is no um, Google Drive document open because actually I opened it with my own personal Gmail, then switched to the company's Gmail. Now, so I'll be going back here to click on the link to open it to the company's Gmail address account. So, if I click on this, sorry, we fix this, right click, I need to go back to the document. So, right click, open a new tab. So it's open on my gym. I want to switch accounts. So I'll be switching to my company so that I can have access to my Google Drive for the company, the business, not my personal Gmail. Because watch is open on my personal Gmail Drive. So I don't want this. I'll just switch to this. So you see, for what you switch into it, I now have it opened on my Google Drive, the business Gmail account. So this is actually Google Docs. It's saved now to the drive. You watch here. You see that all changes have been saved to the drive. So it is saved to the drive. So I'll just close this to tab. Then close this. Then click back on the Google Drive again. Search file is using drive. When I click on it, if you watch, there is no in my drive, there is no document, which is true. I've not uploaded the document to the business email drive. And if I click share with me, you can't see anything because there's no person that have shared any Gmail. File with me. I also explain this when we are using Google Drive how all this process goes. But if you come to recent, you will now see that this is the Google Drive BT agenda that I just, just opened right now. So some seconds ago, minutes ago. So we'll just click on it and I'll click insert. So you watch it also insert the meeting agenda over here. These are two ways you can do that. So but so right over here, you see it has added it already. So it's just a quick one. I'll do, I don't I don't want to add it up adding two um Documents to the email. I'll just cancel one, which is actually on this. I'll just cancel one. I'll press Ctrl Z on to undo. It moves it. I undo the then other one I added. Then I can now make some changes to the agenda. So I just added. You can actually add edit your your message right here so that's what i just see now I actually done so when i look at this my email it's actually okay and 
send. I can now have access over this send section. You have here you can schedule your send. So scheduling your send is choosing a, a day or a time in which you want to send your you can see you can choose the when you want to send it tomorrow morning, this afternoon, this Monday morning. You can schedule that according to your uh, time zone. So I'll just cancel this and just click on send. And over here is saying if you watch here, you can undo it. This way you can do the send message, but I'm not undoing it. So, but you cannot actually have access to it. But if it, it actually stays for here for about five or ten seconds, then it goes off. Then the message has been sent. So, if I come to my send bus, you we'll actually see the message. So, just a quick one of accessing my Outlook and also my Yahoo accounts to explain the blind copy and the copy what it means. Over here, now you can now see we have the email has been loaded via the Yahoo and also the output email has been loaded successfully. So if I click on the message in Yahoo, you can see Kinspire Tech sent a message. So on this, I'll just click on the email. If I click on the email, you now see this. Over here, you can see the, the uh, sender. Which is kinspiretech at gmail.com. This is what I was explaining there to Onion Mackinsley 360 at gmail.com and also Onion Mackinsley 360 at yahoo.com. So if you watch here, you are not seeing the here which is sent to email, but if you look over here closely, you can see the blind copy. So it, it, this is what I was explaining about. So you can't find a blind copy over here. Then it also has an AI where you can actually see received or acknowledge or the is that allowed to auto complete or to respond messages over here. Then if you go to the adbook and click on this, if you watch your this is also the mail from the adbook. So if I click on the message over here, so when you come down here, you see this is actually there or kindly find the meeting attached and then you create your meeting agenda for the meeting. You can see the attachment which you can actually download. And if you watch you see to Gmail copy yahoo, uh, yahoo but you can't the outlook saw the email but the recipient did not see that it was sent to blind copy it was also sent to this and this other will work of blind copy so thanks for watching please like share subscribe and also stay tuned for more great content after this we'll be talking another program which talks about how to create and use labels so we'll be talking that will be the next section just finish this. also like i said i also drop a link to all these buy documents in your Google Drive section where you can actually have a link to that. So thanks for watching.